I'm Lauren Mayhew, and joining us today we have two very special guest hosts. I'm Sven Ortiz. And I'm Mark Gapkin. Hey, we have some amazing new segments for you guys today. We do. But first up, your top news stories of the week. Ah! Are you one of those people that hates a dentist? Well, I have some great news to fuel your hatred. Dental offices are the only doctor offices that still use x-rays that could potentially be harmful to people, especially children, because of the amount of radiation they emit. And now... Dentists want to start using a brand new high-tech 3D x-ray machine that emits an even larger amount of radiation. What the balls, dentists? Positive side? You might get cancer. Four! Are too many hot vampires corrupting our nation's youth? Two self-described practitioners of paganism and vampirism were recently arrested in Arizona for stabbing their friend in an attempt to, get this, drink his blood. Yeah, that's right. Apparently, 25-year-old Robert Malley had previously been letting his two friends drink his blood, but this past Sunday, wasn't really feeling it. So they stabbed him in his apartment. You know, it's too bad that that cute little werewolf guy, Jacob, wasn't there to save the day. Yeah, it's that time, it's one of our brand new breakfast, breakfast burrito segments. Breakfast segments. Breakfast we have Liz breakfast and Judy breakfast with Kilobyte. Hey guys, I'm Judy. And I'm Liz, and we're here with today's Internet Temptation and Homegrown Webberties. Huh? What celebrities? Buy it, use it, break it, fix it, trash it, turn it, mail, upgrade it. Let's honor to ourselves into the most popular person, Antoine Dawson! Windows, he's snatching your people up, trying to rape them, so y'all need to hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband because they're raping everybody out here. The hide your kids, hide your wife, Lily Luke became an internet sensation when Dobson gave a TV interview, which was then edited, auto tuned, and wicked wicked remixed by the Gregory Brothers. It inspired thousands of Halloween costumes, hit number one on iTunes, landing itself on the Billboard Top 100! The history is funny. Hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband, cause they break the name, body on here. Next up is everyone's favorite to do, Keenan Cahill. Yes, Keenan has his own YouTube channel, which he does weekly performances and lip sync stays greatest hit. He was featured on Chelsea Lately, where he talked about his most recent video post, where 50 Cent sang with him. Damn. <laughs> Sounds dirty. And finally, my favorite webberty, which can be found at collegehumor.com, is the girl who freaks out because she can't sing! Oh, I love this girl. Don't freak out, weird spastic child. It's a really hard song. Stuart Hughes, he's known for his expensive remakes on popular gadgets. He's at it again. How about spending eight million on a phone? Yeah, that's right. A diamond clad iPhone 4. This handmade dazzler contains approximately 500 individual flawless diamonds totaling more than 100 carats. And amongst these diamonds are the queen of diamonds, okay, 7.4 carat pink diamond. All right, so the moral of the story is, ladies, divorce your men, take your half, buy one of these phones. It vibrates and it's covered in diamonds. Need I say more? All right, guys, next up we have our political girl, Emily Wilson. What's up in the world of politics today, Emily? Hey, guys, I'm Emily, your political girl, straddling all things Capitol Hill. Okay, so I've been getting a bunch of emails from people complaining that Obama isn't doing anything. So let's take this time to check out Breakfast Burrito's very own PrezHilton.com and see what's really going down in the Oval Office. Obama caught with hands on minors? <gasps> oh, it's not what you think. Obama hit the road to promote a new mandate which will add two hours of classes every day and a month to every school year. Sorry kids, Camp Bonawana's gonna have to wait. Here's one. Colleagues accuse Obama of being power hungry? Obama announced on Tuesday that the government will be spending more money on nuclear power in order to help with the growing energy problem. Opponents believe the Prez shouldn't produce any more radioactive material until he figures out where to put it. And spotted! Obama takes U.S. off the market? Okay, here's a little history for you. Back in the day, the Supreme Court ruled that no one could make anonymous campaign contributions as part of the Full Disclosure Act. It's a good thing because it prevents terrorists and other crazy people from donating millions of dollars to get their candidate elected. Sorry, Al-Qaeda, too bad. But, 
sketchy business. In the last election, large donors found a way around this rule by creating nonprofit organizations with names like People for Puppies and Mankind for the Fourth of July. And they were able to donate tens of millions of dollars as anonymous contributions. <laughs> Don't worry, Obama's been working overtime to make sure that no extremist candidates make the ballot in 2012. Ah! How did that get in there? Ooh. And I'm out of time. I'm Emily, and that was your political foreplay for the week. electrician Pierre Le Guinic must have been thinking when he found and authenticated 270 previously unknown works by Pablo Picasso. However, in a bizarre twist of fate, he was unfortunately slapped with a lawsuit by Picasso's son and five other heirs claiming that the works were stolen. Sorry Pierre, looks like your luck ran out old boy. Guys, it is time for Headline Hunter with Kat. It's me, Kat, your Headline Hunter, searching far and wide for the most outrageous stories in the news. The stories are too ridiculous to believe. Operator, operator, please! I think my brain has got a disease! Hulk hunts illegal aliens? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Everybody knows aliens come in peace. I'll show you what it's like to be a delinquent. Woman arrested for assaulting boyfriend with tamales? <laughs> we know this one's true because the officers found the said victim with tamale sauce all over his pants. Man finds head in bucket? The bucket, which was in plain view, took three days to be discovered. Talk about not using your head. <laughs> Twins can see through each other's eyes. These four-year-old girls have brains that are fused together, enabling them to see through each other's eyes and experience each other's emotions. Prison to install sunbeds for inmates in Moscow? This has quickly become the cheapest way for Russians to get a tan. for those 50 days. The boys were so desperate they started drinking seawater and ate a seagull that landed on their boat. Aww, romantic. Stupid, but romantic. All right, that was your breakfast burrito for the week. I'm Lauren. I'm Sven. And I'm Mark. Bye, guys.